Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. A Jamaican teen's death is being probed by U.S. authorities in Lower Paxton Township in Pennsylvania, USA. Greetings, greetings, and salutations to all nations. Ladies and gentlemen, you know it's your favorite Jamaican. It's Rastafari Rice over here of Boots TV. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Follow the Rasta man on TikTok. Four days before his 17th birthday, a Jamaican teen, Justin Johnson, died under mysterious circumstances after reports incident that three of his classmates last Friday night in Lower Paxton Township, Pennsylvania, in the United States, chased him. The three schoolmates, apparently all white, chased Justin while reportedly hurling racial slurs at him. A 16-year-old Jamaican who has been sick, sickly, with sickle cell, managed to run inside his house but shortly afterwards contacted his father telling him that he had difficulty breathing. Justin later died at the Hershey Medical Center. An autopsy is scheduled as the police investigate, hope to shed more light on the circumstances surrounding his death. Speaking with ABC 27 News on Monday, Justin's father, Orville Johnson, described his son as being very special and said Justin had his life to live. Johnson said that my son is a special son. He's very special. Justin was to celebrate his 17th birthday on Tuesday. Central Dolphin High School 10th grade student moved to the district two years ago from Jamaica, according to his father, on the night of April 26, Johnson said three men shouted up to their Bianca Drive home in stray wind development. Johnson said son told him they were members of his school football team. Surveillance footage appeared to show the teenagers chasing Justin outside the home while using racially insensitive language the elder johnson said where did he go he went to explicit africa one of the chasing boy can be heard yelling on the cctv footage which has been circulating online at the time johnson said he was at work but remained in contact with his son by phone throughout the ordeal the father said Justin called him after going back inside the house, complaining of having troubles breathing. According to the father, Justin suffered from sickle cell disease and is not supposed to overexert himself. By the time the Orville Johnson returned home, he found his son unconscious on the floor. I called 911 immediately and they told me what to do. They called me and said I have to come to the hospital because they are not getting heartbeat and I'd seen him since I haven't I didn't see him since the distraught father recall while uncertainty remains about the incident according to you know Johnson said that his son loved school and was trying out for the football team at Central Dolphin High School in another media interview Johnson said he recognized the boy who chased his son from the early visit of his home in April 22nd it was at the time that Justin told his father that boys were members of the school football team Johnson recounted the lower Paxson Township Police Department said no charges have been filed yet but an investigation remain ongoing the police requested tips or videos related to the chase from the public. On Monday morning, the Central Dolphin School District released a statement saying they were saddened to hear about the passing of Justin Johnson. 
The district acknowledged reports that Justin was subjected to racial insensitive words or slurs from classmates, adding that such behavior is in consistence with the school's core value. We are aware of the social media posts about the incident and are cooperating with local law enforcement. The school district stated principal of the school, Eric Schneider, also emailed parent confirming Justin's death and said counselors were available to support students and staff. Meanwhile, the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission also released a statement on Monday expressing condolence to Justin, family, and friends. The agent said it is very concerned about the allegation of racist action and is willing to continue to monitor the situation. Hate has no place in Pennsylvania, and the PHRC stands committed to make sure everyone has the right to education, employment, housing, and commercial property, and also public accommodation free from discrimination, the PHRC said. Ladies and gentlemen, I had a video of the particular chase and because the so-called racial slur were heard in it, I decided I wasn't going to play it. Um, it appears that it's probably just some school children really, you know, playing around. And because Justin probably felt like he was out of breath, it appears that he ran inside. And when the youths saw him, they basically, you know, said, where did he effing go? And one of them said, he went back to the continent that we're originated from. So that's where the racial slur is coming in. It, you know, we would have to have a conversation with the youth to see if they were cool like that because, you know, sometimes that's, you know, you know, terminology, but there's nothing really behind it. So, you know, my condolences to Justin Johnson's dad. It is Orville Johnson. It is a tragic when a parent have to, you know, bury a son and it is, you know, sad because, again, it's a Jamaican and we don't want our youths to go to America, lose their life under any circumstances, ladies and gentlemen. So my condolences to the families and the friends and the schoolmates of Justin Johnson. R.I.P. You may your soul rest in peace. I'm Rastafari Soldier, ladies and gentlemen. Chime in on this one. Let me know if you think that, you know, there was some kind of, you know, racial, racially motivated situation. Because like I said, you know, all I saw on a little 13 or 15 second video was that the youths, them were chasing him. And it appears that, you know, in another article, I also read that the dad divulged to the officers that, you know, they were playing tag. So I don't know, I don't understand how, you know, some articles have a different thing. So I just wanted to disclose that. I saw that in another article saying that the dad disclosed to the officers that Justin and his friends were playing tag. So leave your comment on this one, ladies and gentlemen. The youth was suffering from sickle cell. It's unfortunate, you know, I don't think that, you know, it's because they were trying to do him any harm why he passed. I think they, you know, the racial slur is definitely not not you know welcome and you know i think he was just overexerted himself like he was not supposed to and at the point that he was trying out for the football team i think that he did not understand how serious his sickness or his illness was ladies and gentlemen leave your comment for me though let me know what you think if this was some kind of racially motivated act or it was just a youth sick over exerted himself playing with some schoolmates and it's an unfortunate utterance of uh you know term that sounds yeah racist but you know you can't make everything what people say about you or to you hurt you you are gonna take a sticks and stone breaks bone don't let all the words hurt you so my words them hurt big up on yourself family and friends leave your comment on this one for me R.I.P. you.